Hi there, and welcome to Psych 235 Human Growth and Development. My name is Sam Fletcher, and I'll be your instructor for the semester. So anytime that you're messaging your teacher, that's going to be me. Um, in this course, we're going to be looking at how we develop as people from conception, so that very first moment that your specific genes have fused and began to, the long journey to who you are today, through old age, and even looking at death and kind of what, uh, what that looks like for us and how we prepare for it. So I hope you're ready for an exciting ride. Um, it's a very interesting course, I think. This is one of my favorite courses when I was uh, taking psych classes. Um, and so I, I'm, I'm hoping that you'll, you'll find this to be as interesting as I always have found it to be. Uh, this is a 10-week course, so we'll be moving pretty fast. You can expect to be reading approximately 70 pages a week, give or take five or 10 pages um, out of the book. This should be the textbook you have. Um, the Invitation to the Lifespan. I have the fourth edition. The third edition also works, so whichever one you have, you should be good to go. Uh, from what I've seen, even the earlier editions, you should be okay. There might be some discrepancies with the page numbers, but otherwise you should be perfectly fine. Um, I've included some resources in, uh, on study habits and things like that in the Start Here section, which you should be able to find somewhere up here in the top, uh, underneath the Content section. Okay, so there should be a Content tab somewhere above here at the top of the class. Um, so yeah, and that should get you going. So there's going to be a start here section, a uh, class information section where you can kind of go in and see the syllabus and all those kinds of things. Um, make sure you go through that, read through the syllabus. Uh, there's a little thing in there saying that yes, you did in fact read the syllabus. Um, and then there's also going to be a week one and that'll have all of your class information for this first week. Each week, I'll, I will add uh, an additional week, so week one, week two, week three, right on through. Um, and that'll have the week's assignments as well as kind of what's expected of you uh, in that given era or period. Um, you'll also find two different uh, class sections, so there's or paper sections, I'm sorry. There's the SLT paper uh, and the final paper. I will do additional videos giving more details about that, but you can also just explore them and, and read the instructions and all that kind of stuff there. Um, so uh, I'll let you go ahead and get to that when you get a chance. Um, a little bit about me. So I taught at PCC for two years back in 2013 through 15. Um, I took a break from the classroom and worked for TRIO Student Support Services at PCC, uh, basically just helping students with, with becoming the best students they possibly can be. Um, after doing that for a little bit over four and a half years, or about four and a half years, uh, I'm now back in the classroom, which I'm really excited about. Um, Beyond teaching, I'm also currently a full-time farmer, so I raise sheep and chickens and pigs and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're looking at getting some cows and things like that also, just to kind of diversify our farm as much as we possibly can. Um, so that's kind of a fun thing to be doing. It keeps keeps me active in multiple ways. Uh, my academic background is in history, philosophy, and psychology, specifically clinical counseling. Um, throughout this feels like every time I graduate from every level basically like I hit graduate high school and be like I'm done forever and I was in college and then I graduated from PCC I'm actually a PCC alum um graduate from PCC I'm, I'm done forever and I got my bachelor's I'm done forever so on and so forth keep on going to school um so be careful school can be addictive and you can keep on keep on pulling you back in um at this point, I am done for now. Well, that's what I'm going to be saying for now on instead of forever. Um, like I said, I'm a PCC alum, so I can testify to the fact that a community college education really does prepare you for whatever academic endeavors you might want to pursue in the future. Um, so, so feel good about this. This actually is a very smart choice, and you get very good education through the community college systems. So everywhere I've looked at across the board, statistically, community college graduates have a higher success rate even at the universities compared to those who begin at university. So congratulations on your choices. And I look forward to getting to know you all throughout this semester. If you have questions, uh, the D2L Messenger is the easiest way to get a hold of me. I check D2L pretty regularly uh, throughout the week, even sometimes on the weekends, we'll see. Um, and, and so there's a good chance at least, I'll check at least generally twice a day throughout the week. Um, in the morning and in the afternoon or evening sometime. Um, so yeah, so if you have any questions, message me through that. Uh, I don't have office hours officially, so, but if you need to meet with me or have a chat with me, uh, we can do it through the uh, digital formatting. So we can either chat on the in the chat system on D2L uh, or we can even video conference through like a Zoom or something like that. Um, but if, that, if you need to get a hold of me, 
send me a message and we'll go from there. Um, to get you started this week, you're going to want to uh, go into your discussions section, also at the top of the of the class. Um, introduce yourself in there. Give us a little bit of rundown who you are, why you're why you're here in Psych 235, um, what you're going for degree wise, and all that kind of stuff. Give us a little idea of, of kind of who you are and what you're wanting to do. Um, there's also going to be a uh, post due. So each week there'll be a, there'll be a posting that'll kind of take the place of your in-class participation. Where, so after you read through the chapter, maybe watch some of the movies. I got videos and things that'll help you with understanding the material within the chapters. Um, you'll have a weekly post that has a question that helps, hopefully will help you kind of think deeper into what it is that we're looking at throughout these throughout these chapters. Um, for this first week, by this Sunday. Um, you're going to be reading through chapter one. There's a short, a very short quiz on chapter one. There are five questions each. Um, so you'll go through that first chapter quiz to get those points um, and then go from there. So like I said, if you have questions, get a hold of me through the D2L and I look forward to getting to know you. We'll talk to you later.